What's good everybody? I am back again with another video and it is time to introduce to you guys MT Madness. Yes, I've been holding out on this. I know you guys have been seeing the teasers and all the things on Twitter. But yes, we are officially going to go over the rules, who's in the competition, how it works. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and introduce my team. We have the North Carolina Tar Heels. Yes, we got the Hills and we got the GOAT. Defensive Player of the Year, 1988, Michael Jordan. So guys, this is my squad. I'm still trying to find that Diamond Ty Lawson. We need another Vince. We have this as our bench right now, guys. We have this squad. We need Kenny Smith. We need Bob McAdoo. We're waiting on guys. We need an upgraded Jerry Stackhouse, but we're hoping that we get something in this month of March. And this is the squad. It feels weird not having Psycho T out there. I need to get Tyler Hands, bro. But these guys all have their roles. They all do certain things. They do different things. But anyway, let's get into the tournament. We got the North Carolina Tar Heels, and this is how the tournament works. We have 16 teams. So there's 15 other YouTubers out there, and they have their own team. We have had a draft. We had the draft on a stream. We took the stream down. And yeah, we had a draft lottery. Everyone had a ping pong ball, and the picks were like, all right, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so on. So we end up having the first pick going to Stax Montana. So it is time for me to introduce all the competitors, and this is how the tournament works. We have 16 YouTubers, and we have four groups. Four groups of four. You have two people come out of each group, and when they do that, they'll make it to the single elimination bracket. So everybody is automatically going to get three games. So it depends on what your record is. We, we The tiebreaker is, is points for and points against. So if you end up beating a guy and then you lose the other game, but y'all both are two and one, you don't get the head to head. It's, it's all about points for and points against. So say for instance, you scored 10 points and only one by 10 and you only one by eight in this game or whatnot this person that won by ten goes to the next round so the top two out of each group there's four groups so we're gonna have an eight-man tourney after we eliminate eight players from the group play rounds now it's time to introduce the people and the groups of the tourney let's get MT Madness going all right it's time to introduce everyone in the competition now it's only 16 youtubers we invited a lot of other guys and they canceled they didn't want to do it they said nah i don't feel like doing it that's not my time for this tournament so if your favorite youtuber is not in the tournament don't get mad at me i asked a lot of people and they said no so these are the 16 people that are gonna be in the tourney and with the first pick Stax was able to get kentucky so check out Stax montana's channel guys he's gonna be loaded with john wall He's going to have Cousins, AD, Carl Anthony Towns. Good grief, that team is going to be nasty. And with the second pick, we have Cookie Boy. Cookie Boy is coming in, and he decided to go with UConn, led by Diamond Kemba Walker. Yeah, so Cookie Boy with the second pick takes UConn. I thought it was going to be a little bit further in the draft, but he seems he can work with Ray Allen and Rudy Gay and Drummond and those guys, Rip Hamilton. He doesn't have a bad squad. He's got shooters all around Drummond down low. Now, with the third pick, we had Air Jones. He said he wanted one team, and somehow that team fell to him, and that's UCLA. He's got Zach Levine, Russell Westbrook, Kareem. He's got his boy, Kevin Love, and he also has the guy that he's been bragging about, Kiki Vandaway, with that three-pointer. So he's going to be nasty. And with the fourth pick, we had Mr. Chris London, LSK. So LSK had a hard choice right here to, of who to take. He decides to take Duke. So he's running around right now with Diamond Kyrie Irving. He's got Grant Hill, Elton Brand, just to name a few, Jaleel Okafor, and a bunch of other guys, man. He's nice. He's got a nice squad. Now I had the fifth pick, and this is where I took UNC led by Michael Jordan. There's no need to keep talking about that. We already discussed that. So let's go ahead and go right to the next person. And that is the Flight Mike at number six. The Flight Mike takes Kansas. 
And Kansas is led by an athletic Andrew Wiggins. He has Wilt Chamberlain. And he also has Paul Pierce. So he's got some guys that can put the ball in the basket. Some athletes, some defenders. Not a bad choice. Now, the next pick is the seventh pick. And that is Two Bros Gaming. Two Bros Gaming decides to go with the Florida Gators. Now, the Florida Gators, they won back-to-back -back national championships in the 2000s, led by Joe Kim, Noah, Corey Brewer, and Al Horford. But this guy has a team, not any great players, but not any bad players. It's like all good players. So this is like the perfect team. You got Jason Williams, Bradley Bill, Chandler Parsons, Corey Brewer for defense. You can keep on going. You got Horford, Maurice Spates. You got Joe Kim Noah, so it's not a bad squad at all for him. He can go 13 deep if he wanted to. He even has Mike Miller, so he, he can shoot it. He can play defense. He just has to play smart with this game, and he'll be fine. Now, next up is Juice Man, a.k.a. Body Bag 513. He goes out here on a limb. He decided to go with the superstars, and that is Marquette. Now, Marquette only has like six or seven players in the game, I think. So he's going to have a short bench. He can only use the players from that team. So it's going to be tough for him. But Body Bag has Diamond D. Wade. And he has Diamond Jimmy Butler to go with Steve Novak, Jay Crowder, Doc Rivers. He's, he's got a nice team. He's going to have some athletes out there. He's going to be looking to put up points with his diamonds. Now next up is Shake and Bake. Now, this is a team that I did not expect to fall this far, and that is Texas. Kevin Durant and LaMarcus Aldridge can win you games by themselves, and that's who he has. He has those two guys, and he will be fine. I'm telling you, Texas, you got the best player, I think. To me, Kevin Durant is like the guy that can't be stopped. He's hard to guard. And I'm going to try to find a way to guard him, too, because, hey, we got matched up. But we have... Shake and bake with Texas. Sub the Gamer comes in next. He decides to go Georgetown. So he's going to have Allen Iverson, Patrick Ewan, Alonzo Mourning, Kimbe Mutombo, Jeff Green, Sleepy Floyd. So it's not a bad team. He can control the paint. So if you're trying to get in there, no, 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 not today. So next up is with the 11th pick, Mr. Cullenberger. Now Cullenberger went with the surprise team here at number 11. He went with the USC Trojans. You have OJ Mayo. You have DeMar DeRozan. You have Todd Gibson, Vucevic, Robert Pack. Now, Brian Scalabrini. Now, if he has the Amethyst Brian Scalabrini, he could do some things with this team. Now, that's the thing you have to watch out for with Cullenberger. He's got Nick Young as well who can shoot. And with the 12th pick, I was shocked this team fell this far. And that is LSU with D-Man. D-Man was able to get Shaq, Pistol Pete, Mahmoud abdul Rauf, Bob Pettit, all this late in the draft. And after him, D-Man has a chance to do some things with this team. I'm not going to lie to you. And following D-Man is King Sean. King Sean has the Arizona Wildcats led by the Amethyst Aaron Gordon. You got Iguodala, Jordan Hill, Damon Stoudemire, Steve Kerr. He's got some guys to put the ball in the basket. A very balanced team here at pick 13. Now pick 14, QJB coming in with the Michigan State Spartans. Now the Michigan State Spartans have Draymond. They have Jason Richardson if they can ever come out with a throwback or historic car. You got Steve Smith. You have Magic Johnson. He's got Diamond Magic Johnson, so it's going to be scary to watch him. Nick the Bulls fan comes up next with Ohio State. He really has Mike Conley, Evan Turner, some, some all right guys. He's really hoping to get some Michael Red to come out at some point. He's got Jim Jackson. He's not bad off, but I'm sure he's waiting on Michael Red to get released at any moment. Hopefully it comes out this month for him so he can have somebody for the tournament to help him out because he's got a nice squad. He got Sullinger. And last but not least, that could Kuda with other teams on the board like Michigan with Jamal Crawford, Syracuse with Carmelo Anthony, Georgia Tech with Bosch, Mark Price, Dennis Scott. 
you know, Thad Young, Shumpert. Kuda goes out on the limb. Kuda wants to be the Cinderella of the tournament. And who does Kuda go with? He goes with Davidson. Meaning, he's only allowed to use Stephen Curry and all bronze players on the court with Steph Curry. So, he's going to try to win this whole tournament with one player. Now, good luck to Kuda in trying to get 50 with Curry and hoping the bronze can help somehow. So, guys, that is it for the draft and that's how it was so make sure you check out everybody's channels the link will be in the description next up is going to be the group play and who's in each group so now it's time for the competition we have group play coming up and our first games will start friday and saturday for you guys so we're going to try to do videos every four days or so give or take we're going to try to space it out so it gives you time to watch the games of everybody in the competition and not just spam you with videos and this is how it goes we have the group play I, display, I explained it a little bit earlier I said uh, we have 16 teams four groups of four and in the very first group we have Stax Montana who was the number one draft pick Cookie Boy with the number two draft pick the flight Mike with the sixth draft pick and Nick the Bulls fan way at the bottom so that is like the bracket of death right there who's gonna survive coming out of group one or group a however you want to go with it now the second group which is could be group b group two you have qjb cuda body bag 513 juice man and chris london so i don't know guys who do you think is coming out of that group it's two people going to come out of each group now that's a tough group right there because you got three good teams and you got a good user in cuda who has Steph Curry so that could be an interesting bracket right there an interesting group now group three is Air Jones King Sean sub the gamer and Cullenberger now Air Jones has the best team by far of the group but who else is going to come out of that group can Air Jones survive this group who knows he might have a let up and lose but this group is nasty it I mean, you got guys at the very bottom and Air Jones at the top. He had a lucky draw, but can he survive is the question. Can some of these other users beat him? We will see. Let me know the two people you think coming out of Group C or Group 3, whatever you want to call it. And finally, last but not least, Group 4, Group D, however you want to say it, we have Shake and Bake, D-Man, Two Bros Gaming, and yours truly, Bud, in group D, group four, whatever you want to call it. We're right here in the very back. Two people are coming out of this group. Now it's gonna be tough. We got LSU, Florida, Texas, North Carolina. And we're all like picks right around each other. So it's not like one of us is real high and one of us is real low. We were right there in the middle selections. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes in this game, in this tournament. So this tournament is going to last all the way up to the NCAA tournament. And we're going to give you guys time to watch everybody's videos. I'm going to try to make a playlist. I'm going to do a recap of everybody's games to keep you guys updated with MT Madness. So make sure you use the hashtag if you are on Twitter. If you have not checked it out, some people have already got videos up of their jerseys and courts creations and lineups. So make sure you check out everything. Remember guys, the top two guys of each group goes it goes by record and then if it's a tiebreaker it goes by who has the better points for versus points against and then after that we have a single elimination eight-man tournament and after that you can play you may skip it simple you can either play three games if you can make it to the championship you can play six games so I hope everybody enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new to the channel comment down below drop that like and I hope everyone is ready for MT madness